I'm here today with the Traxxas Rally doing a little bit of work and gonna have a little bit of fun. This motor here is the Traxxas Valenian and its combo ESC will be down in the description. I've just pulled its spur gear off and I'm gonna be replacing the spur gear to get a little more speed. I have plenty of power and I've been running it with a lot of torque and a small spur gear. So I'm gonna upgrade from a 11 tooth spur gear and I have here two to try. This is the 32 pitch pinion 13 tooth. And this is the 32 pitch pinion 15 tooth. I'm gonna go ahead and go all the way up to the 15 tooth. And if I end up not having enough torque to do donuts and burnouts and rally, rally style stuff, then I'm gonna go ahead and bring it down to the 13 T, which is just above the 11 T. And that should be a nice middle range with some speed and some torque. I've pulled out my previously upgraded slipper clutch and cleaned it up a bit. It's got a little bit of rust around the bearing, but it still seems it's a uh, sealed bearing and the inside still seems to be working well. A couple upgrades that I've been working on so far. I really wanted to get this thing low and stiff and that's difficult to do with the stock suspension. So I've upgraded the rear suspension with some pro lines. Uh, there are, that are just a little bit shorter than the stock and that's giving me a little bit of lift as well as some stiffer suspension I was able to really adjust it a lot better than previously. The front suspension is still the stock suspension but I've added dual spring setup in here now and we're running really low and I'm all the way to the outside with that suspension link there. And that's lifted these arms up for a lower front end. Also going to have a little bit of fun here. I went as cheap as I could on, on these wheel hubs. I wanted cheap plastic wheel hubs that were about the same size as my current wheels. And these just turned out to be great. For $14, these are some axial plastic wheel hubs. And I'm going to drift on these. So I'm going to not put tires on them and I'm going to use them, uh, just put run on plastic and we're going to drift all over the garage and stuff with these guys. They come with two different size uh, inner wheel hubs. I really wish they had something in between there because they've got this really big huge one and this short one. And I actually found that I'm kind of in between, but I'm going to use the larger one. And that's going to be pretty close to where we were, where are with these. I think it's going to sit about right there. Just poke out a little bit. So I'm going to get this thing put back together with this new pinion gear and these new wheels. Just want to show you this spur gear pinion gear matchup. Once everything's put back together, put a little bit of grease on there. And there's always just a little bit of play that you want. You don't want to mash those gears together. Okay, so here's the Traxxas Rally with all of my mods and upgrades. He's got an upgraded rear Proline suspension, upgraded motor and ESC combo with the Valenian. And if we take a look at how this guy sits, you can see it's definitely a rally style where it's raised a little bit, a little bit more than you'd see on like a drift car. But that back end sits higher than the front end. And my challenge with the stock suspension, I couldn't get it low and stiff at the same time. I would get it right about here and, then, and I'd have to loosen up the springs to do it. When it would take off, it would seat down and then you, you lose your ride height. So right now, when this thing takes off, it just sits on those, those first stage springs, kind of squished down a little bit. And the same thing with the front, any kind of suspension that happens, I've got an extra stage spring on there and that's what's taking most of the little bumps and hits. So what we're doing here is digging the weight into the front and allowing the back to just fishtail all over the place. And we're relying on distributed weight on these tires while we're sliding on the ground. So whatever vehicle you have, you have to work with this distribution of weight through trial and error and see what kind of results you get. This has worked out really great for me and I'm just fine tuning it here and there to get the results that I want. 
So I've also picked up and painted a new Traxxas Rally body. And I think this thing looks really cool in orange with the black. I have to say though, I am really, really disappointed with the durability of this body. I have only had it for about a week now. It got cracking. I just noticed this today. This crack was here when I brought it home and I didn't even realize how bad it was until I painted it. Down on these corners here, you have the car side rails that come out. Cracking right there. But I mean, come on, Traxxas. Not to even tighten it off of jumps or anything. This is straight out from, from trying to drift around obstacles and bumping into them. So for $50, I don't feel like I got my money's worth with this body, even though it looks so cool. So whatever. Let's just, um, let's just do with what we got and let's race this thing out. So that was a lot of fun. This thing drives really well. Definitely some really great improvements. I'm just stuck on this handling. It's exactly what I wanted. The back end swings out. Uh, there's plenty of control in the front. So while the tires do look a little goofy on there, if you examine it really closely, while it's out there drifting and spinning and doing things, it's just so fun to drive and you don't even pay attention to the fact that it doesn't really have tires on it. All right, right now I'm gonna put the uh, stock tires on. I don't think that I had as much torque as I did before with this new pinion gear, but I'm gonna have to put on the other tires to really find out and see if that's true. I did feel like when I was doing some of the donuts and trying to get some gusto out of it, it wasn't there. And that could have just been the fact that I'm running on plastic tires and I have no treads, so I have no traction. And I'm gonna find out right now. So I really feel like I have plenty of torque there, actually. Once I put the stock tires on and got some grip, man, things burns. I felt a little bit front heavy, like the back was coming around a little too much. So if I were really gonna be using these tires a lot for drifting or anything like that, I'd definitely need to tune this suspension a little bit different and maybe not such a drastic height on the back suspension. But of course, that's what you gotta do. You gotta drive it, tune it, drive it, tune it and then just run what you brung. So as you can see, the TTO2 has been set up the same way and in my next video, I'm gonna be going over this and drifting it a little bit as well. So thanks for showing up today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you got some ideas. Thanks a lot, see you later.